What is going on guys? Today, we're gonna get some work done. Uh, we're gonna work on building some ears for the front A-arms. Uh, it's kind of a new style to me. Uh, I've seen it done a bunch of times, so I'm pretty confident it's gonna turn out A-OK. -okay. Uh, but we may run into some problems. Uh, you'll have to kind of keep an eye out on the channel for that. I can't really release the video on that yet, or kind of really talk into it. It's kind of interrupts the timeline of our frame. Uh, if you haven't guessed this, this is me from the future. Uh, it's already done. I've crossed those problems off, solved the problems. But uh, yeah, we're gonna build some ears from scratch. Uh, you may have seen the jig video. That's why we built the jig, cut the ears off. We're not putting the factory ears back on. Um, you can, obviously you can reinforce them. Wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit stronger. So this is why we're gonna fab them up from scratch. Um, I will be offering a kit on this. I've got to modify it just a little bit. That's kind of the problem I talked about. Uh, it was an easy fix, but I don't really want to ship anything out until I'm completely happy with it. And I'm not really completely happy. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I just had to make a modification to it. It's kind of an easy fix, but I'm going to run it through its paces again uh, while I was building another frame. Uh, just to make sure I'm 100% happy with it. Uh, just had to narrow a little bit up. Had an interference issue, I guess, is the easiest way to put it. But I'm not going to get too far into that because that is a whole different video. Uh, so we're going to get to building this. Uh, but before I get into this, uh, I want to tell you guys about a channel that I come across. Well, actually, I didn't come across it. He messaged me. He's one of my viewers uh, named Gem City Welding. Check him out. He's building the 64 Impala, doing a full frame on it kind of weird that our timing like matches up perfectly you know with building the frame and all that so if you got an impala you want to see that go over there and check his channel out uh, i'm glad he hit me up because i enjoy watching other people's builds you know i do watch youtube in my spare time which isn't very much but uh yeah i mean if it's lowrider content i'm down to watch it i'm actually check this out watching it right now <laughs> yeah i'm trying to multitask here trying to get some Video's done, get some editing done, but yeah, sometimes you just got to do that. So we're going to get into this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to cut a side perch for the ears for this frame. I've cut a few things on this table so far. Some of them turn out good, some of them don't turn out good. Eh, still kind of a little bit of a learning curve. Sometimes I'll cut like five pieces and they'll all do good, and then I'll go make another piece, and then for some reason the torch height is way too high. And I'll go in and adjust it, and it still won't act right. Then I go and adjust it back to where it was, and it acts right. So I'm not quite sure on that still. But, uh, for the most part, still pretty sweet. Uh, once I get it figured out, it'll cut really good. It saves me a bunch of time. It just takes, unfortunately, some time to figure it out. But, such is life. So, pick on my plasma cutter here, and we'll fire out a piece real quick. So that's the back of the cut. Still got a lot of dross. And that's what all that's called. And it does bang off with a hammer, but I had a little bit better earlier. Uh, what I was doing was I was playing with the torch height. And I had, like I said, I had a lot better, but for some reason when I wrote this part, the torch came up way higher than what's supposed to. It wouldn't even strike the arc, it'd be so high. So I had to go back in and tinker around with a little setting, but I changed it lower and it didn't do anything. And then I changed it back to the number that it originally came at, and it did this, which I needed to be lower. So I don't know, I'm about to call a company and see what I'm doing wrong. So here's some of the other parts I got cut out. Got them all cleaned up, looking pretty good. I'm gonna start fitting them together. I'm gonna use a little magnetic square. This thing's pretty sweet. It's got a little on-off knob. Bought it at one of the welding stores. Pretty handy. Um, I mean, if you're not doing a bunch of stuff, probably not worth the investment. It was pretty expensive, I think it was like, 50 or 60 bucks maybe maybe a little bit cheaper i don't know somewhere around there but it actually holds really good 90 degree angles it's got a bunch of different angles on there but works really good for 90s and this one you can kind of knock out a few birds with one stone for example this is going to be our front piece where our uh, dog bone mounts to so i can go ahead and fit up my side and i can go ahead and fit up my top all at once so that kind of makes it nice and then I just take that off and fit up my other piece and ready to go. Tack it all up. And then 
And then I mounted on here. I just put a few tacks on my side pieces, kind of keep it from bowing in and out, you know, and moving around. And then I weld it up. So, let me put the prettier side to the outside. I just wind it up, basically get everything flat. Trying to get as flat as I can up there on the edge. That way I can lay not this one, but this one on the side. Yeah, try and keep a note of what's what because the sides are different. This one's longer, that one's shorter, as you may have noticed. But I got to keep that in mind for this because this is going to be the left side, driver's side, rear ear. And if I get them backwards, I'll have two passenger sides and I don't need that. I don't want that bevel like that. Although it looks good. I want them to fit up like that. I'm going to lay a nice bead in there. Yeah, just like that. Hopefully you guys caught all that. I got my little top piece. Set it on there. And it fits up nicely. Leaves me a good gap to weld in. Now just give me some tacks on those. Bring it on over here. Tack that side down, push it down again, and put my other side on. So this is pretty much what we're working with right now. Got it all tacked up. Got some small tacks on the bottom there. Help, help keep it from bowing out or bowing in. I'm going to leave those tacks on there until it's done and cooled. And then we come back, cut them off. And so far, I've been having pretty good luck about them deflecting at all. So I'm pretty happy with that. And there's our finished product. Got all the tacks cut. It's good and cold now. But yeah, I cut the tacks, ground my little tack marks off. So we're ready to slide it on the frame. And hopefully if you did all your measurements right, everything should slide into place. So we're looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. And that's kind of how our jig's working, if you didn't have any idea before. You got it bolted down. That mimics with a height of where this is supposed to be at and I just measure it up to that boom I'm gonna tighten that down put some tacks on there and uh, I think I'm gonna flip it upside down and plate the inside of this as well because I'm gonna reinforce the inside of the spring pocket also because this is just 3 16 so I'm gonna put another layer on the inside and then I'm gonna come back double check this make sure it didn't move nothing and uh, then weld these down so I was pretty happy with the way these ears turned out getting ready to tack them on i said let me check one more time because i haven't really checked my width i'll be honest i just kind of threw that together and that's gonna be a problem so you have to go back and revise a little bit but not too big of a deal i'm just gonna narrow them up make them a little bit skinnier and it'll fix that problem and just like that got it all fixed up it's nice having a plasma table it makes things easy and here's what we got. I want to do a test fit on there and make sure everything bolted up properly. So far it's looking good. I'm going to wait to weld all this because I'm going to flip the frame over. I'm going to put a plate on the inside of the spring pocket. And that way it doubles this up and make it 3 8 uh, And I'm going to wait to weld this because I don't want this warping or anything like that uh, until I get the other plate in there. And when I do go to final weld it out, I'm going to put my jig back in there. That way it will kind of hold everything. I mean... I doubt it'll move, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, you know, I want to make sure everything lines back up. What I'm going to do is put a plate on the inside here, and I'm going to tie the factory frame to the new plate on the top side, and also to the plate on the bottom side. And I'm also going to put some plug welds in here. That way it'll tie it all the way across and keep anything from kind of warping up. I'll show you what I got here. This is the plate that I'm talking about. I'm going to weld all the way around the outside and where all those holes are, besides a two inch hole there, that's a cylinder. But all the other holes, I'm gonna basically plug weld them to tie it to the top plate. So I got my plate welded in, got the perimeter all welded. I put me a little bit of a weld there, as you can see in the center, kind of keep everything from distorting and moving as I weld the outside. But I also kind of wanted to show you, there we go. I also want to kind of show you how I'm welding it. Basically I'm arcing up on the bottom plate, building a puddle, and then pushing it up to the top plate. And just working my way just working my way from the back coming down just, you know basically whipping it back and forth that way i'm tying into both plates 
Uh, I'm gonna weld up all of them spots there. That way it'll give it a good bond. Um, you won't have to worry about the spring pocket flexing at all. You won't have to worry about the A-arm mounts moving at all. Uh, now it's 3-8 steel instead of 3 16 Thought about maybe doing one more plate. Um, normally when I do a spring pocket, you know, I don't go this extensive because I'm usually not removing the ears, but usually I make, I tell everybody it's like a football shape. It basically just goes back as far in there as I can get, comes all around and far up there as I can get, and I just weld the outside of it because that's really all you can get. But I do get a lot of questions of, you know, how do I reinforce spring pockets, and that's how I normally do it. This one here is a little bit different. Like I said, normally I'm not taking off the ears or taking off the top of the frame, but I figured this would tie everything in together, make it really strong. So I'm going to weld this out, and that'll be about it for this video. So this is where we're going to leave the video uh, for today. As I said at the beginning, we do run into an issue. Uh, so I am going to be mass producing these, but not for a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, everybody's going to see this video until I actually get the fixed part done. So anybody with a plasma table, they'll probably start building them up too. You know, it's not really trying to get in like huge mass production of kits. You know, obviously we've got a small table still here, but it can't expand if, you know, demand becomes bigger. Got to get a better plasma cutter. Uh, you can see I did a bunch of test pieces here. Still playing with it, you know, still having problems. But uh, I'm trying to kind of offer stuff that people don't really offer or think to do. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, everybody else with a plasma tail probably watch this video and be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'll start making those too. I mean, it's kind of part of the game, I guess. But oh well, it is what it is. I ain't really that worried about it. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next one. But remember, you won't know what you can do until you try. Get and try. See you. What's the problem? <laughs>